Hello, hello. Good morning, at least for me. My name's Amelie, if you're new here. If you're not, welcome back. Welcome to part two of the Mexico vlogs. So if you haven't watched the first one, I definitely recommend you do that because then this vlog will make a lot more sense. This is day four. We're in Mexico for a week. I just woke up, it is around 10.30. I have this cute little workout set on. This top is from Crop Shop Boutique. Shorts are from Amazon, actually. And I'm about to head out to the gym. Today is just gonna be like a super chill day, lots of tanning, eating. I think we're gonna go out to the town. It should be really fun, but you guys know my motto by now. Movement first, always. So we're gonna go do that. This hotel has like a gym that I'm staying at. It's kind of small, but it has a treadmill and some dumbbells. So that's honestly all I need. I think today I'm just gonna do primarily cardio and then maybe like a little bit of like a full body workout. So welcome to today's vlog and let's go to the gym. I just finished my workout. Honestly, I didn't do anything crazy today. I did some incline walking, some running, and then I did like a 20 minute full body HIIT workout. When I'm traveling, like I'm not really actively chasing my fitness goals, at least for me right now on this trip. I'm not like trying to train to full intensity or anything like that. I'm literally just trying to feel good and just maintain my habits. So I just did like a super chill workout. I wasn't able to film very much of it just because the gym was actually really crowded today. So just to be respectful of other people, I didn't really film. And then I also stopped and I got breakfast. They have the best fresh fruit here. So I've literally been living off of that. Now it is time to go down to the pool. I'm gonna meet my mom because she's already at the beach. And we're just gonna talk and like plan out what we wanna do today because we have today, tomorrow, and then most of Saturday, but Saturday is when our flight leaves. So we can't really like do anything or go anywhere other than stay at the resort. So we kind of have like two more days in a sense. Today is just gonna be a super chill day. Yesterday was like a super active day for us. So we both just kind of want a day to like lounge by the pool, go to the swim up bar, work on the tan, just like really relax. So that is the plan. And I'll, oh, I have to put in my earrings, but also you guys, this swimsuit is from Bright Swimwear. Pretty much most of my swimsuits are actually from them. But yeah, let's go to the pool and tan. It's been a little bit since I picked up the camera, but I spent literally like three hours straight in the sun, just tanning and getting drinks at the swim up bar. Then I came back to our hotel room. I FaceTimed Grant a little bit and then I took a shower and now we are getting ready because me and my mom are gonna go like to the downtown area and do some shopping and just like walk around. Guys, look at my tan lines. I got so cooked today, but it literally feels amazing. I feel like this is something that not a lot of people know, but I'm actually half Indian, which comes in so handy whenever I'm trying to tan because I do not sunburn. I think I have been sunburned maybe once in my entire life. And that was like when I was in Tahoe and like the UV was like 11 or something. It is like so hard for me to sunburn. So I low key don't wear sunscreen, which is really bad because I don't want to look like really old when I'm not that old. But it's just so hard because I don't sunburn so I don't have like motivation to wear it. But it just means that I tan super, super fast. So this is like our third day and I feel like I'm already like super tan. But yeah, I just spent the whole day relaxing by the pool, eating fruit. I finished my book that I've been reading. It's for school. I don't really recommend it because it's kind of boring, but it was something that I had to get done. So that's just one way that I kind of multitask while I'm on vacation, but I'm also still like staying on top of my schoolwork, even though technically it's break right now. Also, sorry that I keep going up and down. All of my makeup is like down there. But yeah, I just wanted to pick up the camera and say hello and tell you what is going on with our day because I haven't really been vlogging today just because I've been pretty much just laying in the sun all day. Yeah, it's honestly just felt so amazing to do nothing all day, essentially. I'm not always the best at letting myself entirely relax and like giving myself the rest and recovery that I need. Whether it's like physical or mental, like when I'm relaxing, I'm still subconsciously doing stuff like thinking about my to-do list or what I have to do for homework or work. So this trip has just really given me the time that I need to just do nothing. 
And I mean, obviously, like, I'm still vlogging, but this doesn't really feel like work because you guys are my friends and I feel like we're on FaceTime and I love it. So I've just really been taking this time to relax and de-stress because, I don't know, I've just been feeling really stressed out recently over nothing. Like, there's not that much going on, but everything has just been stressing me out. So this trip has just been so needed. I literally just did like super light makeup. I'm just gonna put on some Summer Fridays really quick because my lips are so chapped, but they're chapped in the best way possible. Not the cold winter chapped, but in the I've been in the sun all day chapped. Like, oh, oh my God, you guys. I'm gonna change and then I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. So I'm really just gonna embrace the beach vibe. I'm wearing a brown swimsuit. I forget where it's from. And then this cover up, I think is from Sheen, but I'm trying not to buy from Sheen anymore. And then this mini skirt, which is from Addicted. So cute. And yeah, we're just gonna walk to the town, which is like a 20 minute walk, shop, probably get some food, drinks. And yeah, I don't know what the plan for the rest of the night is. But this is the little O-O-T-D. It's like eight o'clock just been walking around the town for a while. There was like this Mayan ritual thing with people flying on a pole and we got drinks and watched sunset and then just shopping. I was pretty successful actually. I got a skirt and a top and then now we're walking about like a mile home back to the hotel for dinner and then we're just gonna play by ear for the rest of the night. Cut like a European so I don't look American. We just had a phenomenal dinner. The food here is so good. Like I could say it over and over again. Everything is so fresh. I had a chicken salad and then for dessert, well I had two desserts. I had fruit and then I also had ice cream with this delicious red velvet cake. And then they also had like tortilla chips with cinnamon sugar. That was my dessert. And then I came home and I've just been scrolling on TikTok for like two hours. Now it is like 10 o'clock and it is time to go to sleep because we're gonna wake up tomorrow for sunrise at like six, which if you guys have watched my other vlogs, you know I usually wake up at like 4.30, so you might not think that that's that early for me, but here I've just really been making sleep like a huge priority because I definitely don't get enough of it at home. So it's kind of early considering that I've been waking up at like 10 a.m. on the other days. But I wanted to show you guys my simplified skincare routine because I used to be someone who would not bring their skincare when they traveled. Like I would say, oh, it's just a week. It doesn't matter. Like I'm not gonna bring it. And then my skin would break out and I'm like, why is this happening? And I feel like I've since made a lot of progress on my skin. Um, I still have like some, I don't know if it's like an active breakout or like scarring right here. And then I had like some right here. But I actually do think that it's gotten a lot better since coming here. Just between like the humidity, the heat, the whole foods that I've been eating. And I just feel like having my skincare routine here has also made a really big difference. So I'm going to show you guys. Earlier in the shower... I used this cleanser, it is by Peach and Lily. And then usually I will put on this Laneige Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer all in one. I actually forgot to bring cotton pads, so we're gonna skip this step, but this is what I would usually use. And then I'm gonna put on this Versed Retinol Gentle Reset Serum. Again, this is the brand Versed. And also in the past, I've used different gel, which is another retinol. That's what's important here, a retinol. It doesn't really matter what brand you use, but I've just found that it really makes a big difference for me. And then we are going to lather our face with snail mucin. This was like a huge TikTok trend in like Korean skincare, I think. And I tried it and I love it. And I've gotten a lot of compliments on my skin since. So I really just work it in there and it leaves my skin feeling extra shiny and moisturized. The last and final thing that I'm gonna put on my face is this SOS Facial Spray by Tower 28. And this is just supposed to help with breakouts 
any redness and it's just an extra moisturizer as well so i give that a few spritzes on my face and I just feel like this routine leaves me feeling super moisturized and glowy right before I go to bed. And it's been really working for me. So definitely make sure that you're bringing your skincare with you when you're traveling. It might seem like common sense to you, but it used to not be for me and it's made the biggest difference. I already brushed my teeth. We just did skincare. I'm gonna put in my contacts and my retainer and then we're gonna call it a night and I will pick up the camera tomorrow morning for sunrise. Mwah morning and welcome to our last full day in mexico it is currently 6 30 a.m we just woke up for sunrise this is what i'm wearing i threw over this hoodie but underneath i have this white swimsuit with this like crochet knit skirt just in case it's a pretty sunrise and i want to take some pictures but also it's kind of cold and windy out so i'm wearing a hoodie hopefully it's a good one because my mom said it was really pretty the day she went and the day that i chose to sleep in but then the one day that i did wake up it was cloudy so fingers crossed that this one isn't and then after sunrise i'm not sure if i'll go to the gym or go back to sleep it'll be one of the two but first let's go see sunrise I haven't been the best vlogger today, but I just got back from the gym. I honestly wasn't very motivated to work out today, but I just know that when I move a little bit, I feel a lot better. So I went to the gym. I didn't have the motivation to lift, but I did some cardio while I answered some DMs, edited a TikTok. Um, I think I did like around two miles. I ran some, walked some, super, super chill, and I do feel a lot better. So I'm glad I did that. But again, that just shows that for me, especially on vacation, like it's not about being perfect. It's not about having the most intense workouts. Oh my God, my necklaces are so tangled. <laughs> um, it's really just about feeling my best and continuing the habits that I know make me feel good on the regular. So I kind of just removed the pressure of having like a perfect workout and anything is better than nothing. So I just did that and now I'm back in our hotel room. I changed into my swimsuit. My mom is already down by the pool but I came back to the hotel room just to finish editing the first Mexico vlog that will already be live when you guys watch this. So make sure you go check that out. But look at the intro, it is so cute. Anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek, but I just got a text from my mom asking me where I am. So I'm about to go down and meet her. Um, I'm really hungry for some lunch, so definitely gonna stop and do that. This swimsuit is from Sheen, but the cups are kind of big on me, so I might switch my swimsuit, I'm not really sure. But I just wanted to give you guys a little update on my day because I fully forgot to tell you guys what I was doing. But now it's like 12 o'clock, I'm hungry, and I'm ready to go tan some more because today is our last day, and I'm truly just trying to soak up as much sun as possible because right now where I live, it is like flooding and rainy and cold, and I don't wanna go home. Literally the thought of being home right now just like gives me chills. Like I'm just thinking about it and I'm cold. So I'm gonna go enjoy the sun with my mom and I will catch you guys later. So I actually decided to switch suits. So I wanna show you guys really quick. This suit is from Lulu's, so cute. It's like black and white and it's actually pretty good coverage. So if you're looking for more modest swimsuits, Lulu's is your place. Okay, now that we're all changed, now I'm gonna go tan. It is around 4.30 and we are in the middle of getting ready. So I just finished my makeup, but I still have to do my hair. I'm gonna do like a slick back bun. So I figured that I would just give you guys like a little tutorial slash show you guys how I do it. Once my hair is all brushed, I just give myself a middle part. 
so excited to go to Fisher. And then you're just gonna need some sort of like gel or mousse or anything like that. You could even use real wax, but I just find it's harder to wash out. And then I flatten it and like rub it into my hair. And then just put it in a ponytail wherever you want it. Take like a boar brush or bristle brush, whatever you wanna call it, and then just smooth it all into place. Then just take more mousse or whatever you're using and just like slick it back even more to secure any flyaways. So I'm doing a bun. You're gonna need another hair tie, ideally like one of those clear plastic ones, but I just don't have one. Um, split the hair in two, twist, and then wrap. And then, with these little like end pieces, I like to have them up more and secure it. And then I just make it a little bit more messy. And then again, just go in with your brush and smooth any bumps or like gaps in your hair. And just like that, we are done. I'm gonna put on my dress and then I'll show you guys the finished look. Here is the finished look. This dress is from Meshki. It is beautiful. I'm literally obsessed. It is like 5 p.m. We're gonna go get some drinks, take some pictures, of course, and then we're gonna have an early dinner because we have a party later tonight. We're gonna eat dinner and then we're gonna go to the white party So we have to go back to our hotel room change into all white. We're gonna get our face painted and it'll be a really fun night Back in the hotel room we just got our face painted and I just changed this is the outfit I decided on. The theme is all white, clearly. These pants are from Bershka, and then I actually don't remember where this top is from. So that's your outfit. Cute. We're all whited out for our last night in Mexico. We just had a delicious dinner. I had a chicken salad, and then I had not one, but two servings of brownie with ice cream. And I had a brownie and ice cream as well. So good, and now we're ready to go to this white party. And the nice thing is, is it ends at 11.30. So it's like a party, but we won't be out too, too late because I still want my sleep. back it is 12 p.m i'm dead literally dead we went to this one party that was like three and a half hours and then there was a secret party from that party into this like smaller room after the first party ended and we were there and i actually am deaf in both ears and i'm so tired i need a shower and i need my bed so i love you guys and i will see you in the morning
I've actually been up for a while, but this is my first time officially picking up the camera. It is 9 a.m. We woke up at 6.45 somehow this morning, and we saw the sunrise, and it was really pretty. I was literally dead, but the sunrise is always worth it. So we went and saw the sunrise, and then we went and got coffee. I had breakfast. I had delicious Nutella pancakes. So freaking good. And you know what? Life is about balance, so now we're on the way to the gym. But I did take a power nap in between because I was still really tired since we went to bed so late last night. But now, it is time to go to the gym. My mom was literally motivating me literally like five minutes ago. I was laying in bed, not wanting to go, and she was like, well, I'm going. And then I was like, okay, if, I, if you're going, then I'm going. So we're up. This sports bra is from craft shop boutique these shorts are from amazon linked on my ltk at omelie decide just like all of my other social media platforms i seriously love craft shop boutiques sports bras and amazon shorts literally my go-to i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do today in the gym just because my whole split has kind of been thrown off since traveling because i've really just been listening to what my body's been craving and recently it's been craving a lot of like cardio i also did some glutes so honestly upper body is due so we'll see i'm gonna play it by ear but i just wanted to say good morning today is our last like half day we're gonna leave for the airport at like four so we have a little bit of time but not the whole day so we're gonna get in a super quick workout and then we're gonna go spend some time in the sun pack up and then go home and i'm not ready to go home we were just looking at the weather and it's like 40 degrees uh, and it's like 80 degrees here so that's unfortunate but it's been an amazing trip let's go start our day with some movement and then get this day started gym and I actually had an amazing workout I did honestly nothing crazy I incline walked for 15 minutes and then I ran for about 15 minutes and then I did a quick little ab workout like literally five minutes and some of the ab exercises had a little bit of arms in it but I sweat a lot and I just feel very achieved especially because I didn't want to work out I was just talking with my mom and we were saying how Sometimes the best workouts are the ones that you didn't really want to go to so this is your sign Even if you don't want to work out and you don't feel like you have the energy to work out Just go because you're gonna feel so accomplished after and anything is better than nothing Also, sorry if there's any background noise. I'm on the balcony. This trip has honestly just been probably one of the best trips of my life I feel like I have had the best time ever with my mom making memories with her and also for myself just giving myself full permission to relax and really have one of the most balanced mindsets i feel like i've ever come into a vacation with um in terms of exercise eating enjoying all the yummy treats working out but not forcing myself to like have these insane workouts it's really just been so truly amazing and i just feel so grateful the plan for the rest of the day is to go inside pack up be like fully ready to leave for the airport and then me and my mom are gonna put on some swimsuits and go play beach volleyball and then probably go to the swim up bar tan a little bit because we have to check out of our hotel room at 12 but our actual flight isn't until like 7 p.m so we don't have to leave for the airport until 4 but our hotel is nice enough to let us like keep all of our luggage in this one place and then they're gonna give us showers and a place to change so we can still enjoy the pool until like four o'clock which is really really nice and like actually perfect so we're gonna do that but i'm gonna end off today's video here i hope that you guys enjoy my travel vlogs because obviously i love filming them and I love this YouTube community so much not only because I get to like talk to you guys like I literally feel like we're on FaceTime all the time and just share my life with you but it's also such an amazing way for me to capture memories of my life that I know I can look back on when I'm older and reflect and just enjoy these memories that I'm making so I hope that you enjoy watching them if you don't that's okay because I will enjoy watching them later but yeah, it's just honestly such a privilege that you guys give me your time of day to watch my vlogs and it just makes me so happy. So with that, thank you so much for coming with me to Mexico. I had the best time sharing it with you. 
like and subscribe to make sure that you are staying notified for all of my content i'm posting two to three times a week also make sure you are following all of my other social media platforms i have instagram tiktok snapchat ltk pinterest literally any platform you can think of i have it it is all on lita size so make sure you're following that and with that i love you guys so so much and i will see you in the next one